Hi guys, so today I am going to be doing a everyday makeup kind of video because I feel like my makeup skills have improved a lot since the last, not since the last video, since like the last makeup video I did, um, hopefully at least because that was over a year ago, uh, but yeah, also I've had my roots done, if you couldn't tell, you probably can't because my hair's up so I don't even know why I'm saying that. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into it. So I just primed with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion um, and my brows are already filled in. I do start with my eyes and my brows because I just it's just the way I do. And um, I've already done my brows because I went to go get them done this morning, like waxed. They're already done. And I'm going to use the Modern Re Renaissance, I say Modern Renaissance, but some people say Modern Renaissance. I use this palette, it's really good. Um, and I'm just using the shade Bueno Fresco, which is that one. And I'm mixing it with these two. I can't be bothered to name them all, so I'm just putting them on my eyes. Um, so yeah, uh, what was I gonna say? Basically, I'm gonna be trying to make these videos a lot less boring than how I used to. Oh, damn, that's a lot. I'm just gonna uh, brush off. And I know my brush is huge because this is just to apply a transitional shade. I put a smidge a bit too much on there. Let's just make the other eye match. Um, I'm gonna take a mix of antique bronze and cypress umber. And put them on here. Uh, so yeah, I want to try and make this channel more entertaining. Oh, why do I keep putting so much eyeshadow on? I don't know if it's these lights, but it's not as much as it seems. Don't worry, I will blend this out. I know it looks awful. I will blend it. Um, so yeah, I want to try and make this channel more entertaining. Um, as you can see, I have a camera, like a good camera. And I have the only thing I need to get is a table because I don't have a table right now. I'm using this weird stand. Uh, I'm just gonna put a blending brush, and I don't actually have a table, which is what I need. So, you know, that's kind of a necessity. So I need to get a table, and then I think I'm pretty much also. Oh, you can't even see that well done. Um, but. Yeah, I want to try and make this I don't even know what I'm honestly chatting about. Like, what am I talking about? Um, so yeah, that's the base. Now I'm going to put on with this little, like, it's like, I don't really know how to describe this brush. Br brush. It's kind of like a flat, fluffy-ish brush. I don't really know. And I'm going to take my favourite colour in the palette, which is Love Letter, which is this pink shade. Um got a nice big dip in it from where I use it all the time uh, what I like to do is put it on with this brush and just go like this and pack it on you can't even see and just pack it on on the outer corner and maybe bring it up just a little bit like this and I will blend it this is not staying like this okay so I do that and then I'll take this fluffy brush, which is, as you can see, very stained. None of my brushes are clean, by the way, just let me tell you. And also, I I am not a professional makeup artist, so please don't comment on the way I do my makeup. I know it's wrong. I know I do things wrong, but okay. So, just, I'm, I'm, this looks so bad on camera. I promise it doesn't look this bad in real life. I'm just blending out the edges. Like this. It looks very dark on camera. It's honestly not. Maybe it's these lights. I'm not sure, but. I'm just gonna keep blending. And. Yeah. Why does this eye look so unblended on camera? really getting to me. 
Um, I'll blend it out with a different brush, maybe. Maybe that will help. All eyeshadow looks bad before you put mascara on. Like, all, all eyeshadow looks bad. Okay. Oh my god, it looks really bad. Okay, anyway, I'm done with that. And now I'm going to take this little Revolution Flex brush and I'm going to take this flat side and I'm going to dip into the Soap Extra Spice palette and I'm going to mix it with a colour in there. Hmm. I'm going to mix Infinity um, and Every Day with these two. The only two shimmers in the palette basically. Um, so I'm going to put the Anastasia on first. I've also been told I say Anastasia wrong, it's Anastasia, but I like to sound posh when I say it, so. I do really like these shimmery shades, the only problem is they're a little bit too light. Can you get me? Like, they're just a smidge too light. Ooh. Um, and then I'm going to take Everyday and Infinity and put them on my eyes. This whole video is probably completely out of focus or out of shot or something. So I've just brushed my bake off. I like to leave it long on as long as it takes me to do my lashes. So say I put on fake lashes however long that takes me to do. Because if I'm putting on fake lashes I want my makeup to stay on. So if it takes a little bit longer with my bake then it takes a little bit longer. Although in this camera it looks like I have two little lines coming down here but it's okay. Um, I like to set the powder, the cream contour with the shade and light palette by Kat Von D. Now I know this is going to be an unpopular opinion but I don't really like Kat Von D very much. Like as a person I don't like her very much. I like her makeup brand um, and I do like this contour kit like it is one of my favourite things I've ever bought but I really don't like the beef between her and Jeffree Star because I actually really love Jeffree Star like he is one of my favourite YouTubers and one of my favourite makeup artists in general I do really really like him and why is oh my nose looks really weird um I do really really like him but she the way it was all explained and things like that. It's just very, it's very, I've got pop on my shirt. She's made it sort of, she does sort of sound like she's made it all because he had no reason to do anything to backstab her. And why would he do it when his brand's taken off? I don't know. It's gonna be an unpopular opinion and somebody will probably say I'm wrong, but yeah. So for bronzer, I use my favourite bronzer, which is the butter bronzer, or I'll use the Autograph Rosy bronzer. I think that's called Magic Contour, that shade. I know it's called Magic Contour, but it's a bronzer. Um, but yeah, I really, really like that bronzer, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I do really like Kat Von D's makeup. Well, some of it, not all of it, but I do really like it. But I prefer, even though I only have one thing from her and one thing from Jeffree Star, I still prefer Jeffree Star's brand. Like, it just, I don't know, it's, I don't know, I just prefer it. Blend on my neck. So yeah, so I don't look as pale now. Um, then I'm going to put on a little bit of blush. Oh, I don't think I grabbed a blush brush. No, I didn't. Oh yeah, okay, I've got one. <laughs> so, I used the Blushing Hearts Triple Baked Blusher by uh, I Heart Makeup, or I Heart Revolution, as it's called now. And this is in the shade Candy Queen of Hearts. I don't think for um, But yeah, I'm just gonna put a smidge bit of this on. And if you can't tell, I use so many of the same brushes so many of the same things. Also, you're probably all like, you've just covered up all your green, you've also covered your green, you just covered up your pink 
like red skin you're putting on blush but I make sure to put on blushes that are super duper shimmery because I want people to know that it's blush and it's not just my cheeks turning red and I also don't put very much blush on like, you probably can't even see anything so for highlighter I'm going to use a combo of these two I'm going to use my Sephora Whoop. I don't even know what it's called luminizing palette I don't even, can you even see that use a Sephora Luminizing palette and my favourite highlighter in the world which is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Highlighter and this is in the shade Princess Cut. So I'm just going to use these. I've, if, I can't tell, like you can probably tell I'm brushing because when I get to this part of my makeup I'm like eh it's almost over I may as well just sort of brush it. So I'm going to take a mix of these two shades because my two favourite shades. This shade has a really big like dip in the pan and it makes me really really sad because that's like my favorite really hard shade. Um, fun fact, I actually hated this palette when I first got it because it gave no pigmentation whatsoever, like absolutely none. Look at that. It gave no pigmentation at all. It was just very like lacklustre, did nothing really. Um, and then I used a different brush with the highlighter, like I used kind of a rougher, spikier brush and scraped off the first layer. Oh my god, it worked so well after that. Like, it works so well. And I'm scared for that shade to hit pan because it's a, obviously a Sephora own brand palette. So like, I'm really sad for when it runs out. And then I'm just going to take... Cut, which is a very pink highlighter so if you don't like pink highlighters I would not recommend this I love pink highlighters I think there's a bird on my roof because I can hear a bird and then I'm just taking that white highlighter, highlighter putting it over the top if you can't tell I do go crazy with the highlighter on my cheekbones don't really like too much on my nose although I have a lot on my nose today so for my lips revolution again I'm going to use a mix of these two lipsticks, uh, Chauffeur, which is my favourite lipstick. I think this could be, I think this is my favourite drugstore lipstick, but I wouldn't say it's like my favourite lipstick ever, but it's definitely my favourite drugstore lipstick. Uh, and, oh, it's just so good. Also, my lips are really dry. On. and then I'm gonna mix it a little bit with Val because that's quite a pinky brown whereas this is like can you see it do a little beauty guru thing uh, this is Val it's quite a brownie mood and because the eye is quite pink I'm just so that was it for the video I hope it wasn't too long because I don't want it to get boring but yeah that's just sort of like my everyday makeup sort of thing um, or sort of what I try and do on an everyday basis also if you couldn't tell because my hair's up I've had my roots done so I've also had my hair done so it's like it looks very peachy on camera but it's actually something like rose gold blonde or something like that because the peach was really stuck in my hair so she bleached it for it and now it's like peachy blonde so yeah um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video comment like and subscribe i'll be uploading videos every monday and thursday well hopefully every monday and thursday uh yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video bye guys see you in the next video bye